Well, what have we got here, Blade fans, but another CJRB knife, another CJRB button lock knife. Yes, this is a White Mountain exclusive with this very fancy red Gmascus handle. That's Damascus with a swirled pattern in it. You can see it goes through and through. First time I saw this was on a petrified fish knife, the Warrior. Uh, picked it up because uh, it really, really drew my attention to it, that handle material. So here we have a button lock by CJRB, and it is the Feldspar. It's a remake of the original Feldspar. Whoops. Here we go. It is a remake of the original Feldspar that uh, was a liner lock. And on this one, we seem to have hidden liners very nicely nested in there with some nice weight relieving in them, both sides. So we should have a knife that is fairly light, and I think it is. Got a beautiful kind of a drop point spear blade, I would call it. Kind of a spear because if you didn't look at the grind, it's almost symmetrical. Got a, a little bit of a choil area here in case you wanted to choke up without nicking your finger. And that is pretty good. Just a little couple of camera adjustments here, folks. Here we go. Thumb stud opener and really nice action i think yeah a little bit of bounce here at the end you always you're gonna get bounce at the end on just about any button lock <laughs> uh, people say oh it doesn't have the bounce or it's got the bounce uh when it hits rock bottom there and there's nothing to contain it the blade's gonna bounce okay at least that's the way i'm seeing it if you want a middle finger flick it, you got double thumb studs. And you might even be able to, now, not enough blade there and it's kind of slippery. So we've got sort of a polished blade, not mirror polished, but it is shiny. We have no jimping here, a little disappointing, but uh, I don't know, maybe for the price. And uh, what is the price? Uh, 50, 60, somewhere in there. Maybe, I think a little less. There'll be a link. It is a budget level knife. It is from AR RPM9, the proprietary budget steel from Artisan Cutlery, of which CGRB is their budget line. And let's put the old tape on this one and see what we got. Oh, eight inches, maybe slightly more than eight inches. We're going to call that eight inches now. Overall length. And just shy of three and a half, maybe 3.45-ish on the blade. I think they're saying it's over three and a half inches. I got to make some camera adjustments here. Sorry. Here we go. Yeah, it was a little bit too far down. Okay, that's good. Where were we? We were measuring. <laughs> okay. In inches. Pretty slim handle. 0.48. Under half an inch. Got a three millimeter blade that is 0.11 inches. And a weight of, ta-da, 3.75 ounces. <laughs> nice, eh? Not bad at all. 3.75 ounce blade. So if that was 3.75 inches, you'd have an ounce per inch, but that ain't happening. <laughs> We're just a little shy of that. It's a good size knife. Doesn't feel small to me. I like the Ergos. Um, got 
kind of that, you know, big swale in here for a few fingers that your pinky on the end still got some left over. We've got a deep carry clip with flat head screws, but the clip is riding on the surface of the handle. That's okay. And we've got a very nice provision because of that without having a cutout to mount the clip on the left side of the knife. Look at those designs. Aren't they cool? Kind of looks like uh, well, I'm looking under a microscope at uh, a cell or a molecule or some darn thing. Something organic, right? Well, we've got all the specs. I did a review on this riff, which is also a button lock, also from CJRB. Slightly bigger, not by much. A little taller blade and uh, a real nice clip point with a fuller, kind of set up to be a fuller opening knife, but does have a little back flipper as well. This guy has no such back flipper, so you don't have anything sticking up. So whether or not you like thumb studs, you got those sticking out on the sides, but you got nothing sticking up here. I got to tell you, I'm old school. My favorite and opening method is thumb studs. First assisted opening method there ever was that I experienced on a folding knife was on a Mel Pardue custom $200 coffin handled knife, 154 cm, that had these big flat thumb studs that chewed up your fingers. That was the first attempt to give us knives you could open with one hand. And uh, it was nice. Now the plunge lock on this one, let's get the riff out of the way. The riff's a nice knife. A little, a few more bucks than this guy. You can catch that review if you check the channel out. Did that just a few days ago. Um, button lock, we were saying. So the plunge on this is pretty good. I would say it's close to 50% engagement. And I think they set it up the same way. Yeah, there's your cutout right there. There's that mortise or whatever you want to call it in the tang of the blade that mates with that plunge lock. That's what a button lock is. And some of the first uh, button locks I had were by Hogue. I still got those knives. They're very excellent knives. The, what is it, EX01, EX02, those sorts of things. They're bigger knives. They're about four inch. And uh, they did a great job with their button locks. They're getting better with button locks. Manufacturers, less stick. Uh, less propensity to accidentally disengage. I mean, you've got to get that down to a, about there before it breaks. And you see it only pops up a little. Some of the initial ones, they stood way up. I think, you know, like the Max Ace Babylon. And um, it was a knife by Tucson that um, had a real prominent button. And, you know, you just grip the knife and the thing's closing. Um, with this, I mean, yeah, there's a good chance you're going to get bit. You know, you don't have a whole lot of uh, clear real estate there to engage your finger. So, um, and there's no double lock on it or anything like that, like there is on an auto. Let's compare it to Benchmade Grip Fillion, the likely suspect. And uh, it's coming in. We're right about the same length. So it's a griptilian sized knife, shall we say. Rat 1, of course. Always got to compare with the Rat 1. Yeah, it's going to be a longer knife by about an inch. Blade, about a half inch. So there you have it. The bench, not bench. <laughs> White Mountain exclusive. That's because I just touched the griptilian. I'm thinking Benchmade. White Mountain exclusive. CJRB made by Artisan. Uh, feldspar. And uh, Feldspar is a mineral. How about some trivia? We go out on some trivia. Well, 
It is an important source of alumina in glassmaking and ceramics industry. In ceramics, it acts as a flux and provides the vitreous luster of chinaware and ceramic tiles. Density of 2.56 and looks like that. A lot of feldspar out in California, I think, in some parts of the West where it was mined initially. Oh, well, trivia, trivia, trivia. Let me know what you think about this feldspar button lock, White Mountain Knives exclusive. I got a whole lot more knives waiting in the wings to show you over the next few days and week or so. So stay tuned. I'll be back soon.